it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Monday, the 15th of July. Um, so we are still doing off the board, uh, and it's Monday, so it's a mood board Monday. But it is also Maggie Holmes Monday, and that is a series I do with Sarah Scrap. so I will have her link down below. So I am using the Round Trip Collection from Maggie Holmes, and uh, that yellow paper is actually from the project pad. I needed a piece of yellow Maggie Holmes paper, and of course Amber had it for me, so I uh, pulled that from her paper pad. So I have two photos. So this is when we were in Denali, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to use of me. I had two of me and one of Julianne. And so I am starting with uh, that, uh, I guess it's second row where it's like the two houses. It's a pink house and a yellow house. So I am doing kind of a half and half-ish uh, look with the pink and yellow paper. And then um, I am pulling some inspiration. So it says the time for women is now. So, um, I'm doing just pictures of me and Julie Ann, and then I will pull in a little something else later, I think. So I am going to start by backing my photos in this, it's like a gold heart paper from the paper pad. And um, I'm just going to do a simple mat, and I really like uh, when I'm doing a smaller cutting, I really like to use this guillotine trimmer. So uh, that is what I am using for that. And so these pictures are actually um, when we were driving through Denali, and you can see um, the actual mountain behind us. And... I don't know that they're the best pictures. I think my husband has the best picture where you can actually see the top of the mountain. So they say that like 20% actually get to see the whole mountain. Um, and I feel like we pretty much saw the whole mountain. Uh, usually, I guess there's lots of cloud cover. So I felt like, I felt like we had, had a good amount. So I am going to use this Bramble Fox perspective that says beautiful and it's an arrow. So I'm going to use that as part of my title. Uh, grabbed a doily from Amber because <laughs> obviously I didn't bring enough stuff, but um, she has plenty, plenty to share with me. <laughs> it, it goes both ways when we scrapbook together. So when she comes up here, she needs something. She knows that I have plenty. And then when I go down there, um, I know that she has plenty. So I was thinking about using this little yellow square to kind of go with that yellow square um, in the mood board, but that didn't seem to happen. Um, I'm going to do this doily and feel like I was pulling the inspiration from the top uh, where it's like that she's holding that like white bouquet of flowers. So that doily is kind of like a circle and it actually has flowers on it as well. So uh, that was kind of where my brain was going for that. I actually was thinking I was going to use the word magic somewhere on here because of the mood board. And I think I forgot or got distracted and um, just kind of was like going through all of the goodies and just landed on the things that I, I really liked. So I did add that circle uh, element that is gold and it's like a compass. And that's to go with the circle that is actually on the mood board, not necessarily what's in the circle, but just the fact that there is a circle. So I created a little embellishment cluster up on the top left-hand corner with like a banner and a butterfly and those binoculars. 
And then I'm going to create another one on the right or on the left upper hand corner as well with just a floral and uh, I think it gets a label. I think I'll probably just stamp the date in there. Um, I'm not going to journal on any of my layouts for Alaska until I'm all done and I put them in order. Um, and then I'm not like telling the same story over and over. So when we do trips like this, I really like to kind of batch scrap, I guess you could say, um, and work on that entire vacation. Uh, sometimes I'll do their own album, uh, but I like to do that in that way. That way I don't tend to repeat myself because I think that it's kind of funny. Like I have definitely done that before. So I also found that die cut piece that says lovely down at the bottom. So my title is going to be beautiful, lovely mountain. So there's like a tiny little gold alpha in the sticker book. And I'm just going to pull the MT in out of it and stick it uh, down there on the bottom right on the on that lovely die cut I do add a couple of other stickers I think I had a heart a couple of hearts and like a little arrow and then uh, using these sequins by Spiegel Mom Scraps they hope you caught what they were because I actually was looking at the layout and then I turned to look and I think it's joyful something I, I just don't know what I did with them, actually. My whole thing of sequins that I took down. So I'm going to give my butterfly some sequin trails, and then I'm just going to add a couple of other pink and yellow sequins in the other two layouts and layouts, the other two clusters. I don't know. Maybe I need to have some more tea. <laughs> <laughs> my words are not coming out right. Um, so that is going to do it for me today. I will have the playlist for off the board linked down below as well as Sarah's video. And I got some close ups for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. I would like to know uh, who has actually been to Denali in Alaska. So I'd love to I'd love to hear everybody else's um, adventures. So leave me a comment and remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.